What's going on YouTube? Subum Saint bringing you another review this week and this week I'm bringing it on the Tesla Invader 3. Yeah, that's right. Tesla Invader 3. This is a 240 watt mod. Now it is a dual 18650, fires down to 0.1 ohm, completely zinc alloy body, spring loaded 510, has auto protection, reverse battery protection, short circuit protection, overtime vape warning, which means this little LED right here that you see right there will flash if you hold the fire button down longer than 10 seconds. Has a low voltage warning and comes in three different colors so far. So far it comes in three different colors. It comes in a silver, a black, which I have, and it's a blue, which is kind of like a teal blue, more of a teal blue. Uh, the pictures that don't do it no justice whenever you go to the website, it looks really blue, but it's not. It's more of a teal blue. Um, ranges between $45 to $50 for this mod. Now, no temp control. None. This is strictly wattage mode mod. Now, this is the best thing I can compare this thing to is a hex ohm, but it's a lot more affordable than a hex ohm. So, without further ado, I say we get down to the nitty and the gritty and check this little mod out. Let's do it. All right guys, here we are with the Tesla Invader 3 box. Pretty nice little packaging they got going on here. Authenticity shows you the color. Mine's black, so as you guys can see, now you slide this off. Sorry, shook it a little bit. It's got a nice little foam or fuzzy feel to it. Here's your certification or certificate. Here's your user manual. It's relatively little user manual. Shows you all the ins and outs. And pause that pause that if you want to know the specifications there's your color options all that good stuff and yeah anyways here's your mod sits right up in there nice and cozy and comfortable and all situated nice little mod here nice you got spring loaded 510 I think mine's got a little scuffed here. Uh, I did use this the whole time I was painting, so it could be paint. I don't know. Here's your adjustment. Nice clicky fire button. Held on by two magnets. One right here, one right here. Now the magnets are, are strong enough, but I'd like to have seen them a little bit stronger. They're not really super strong. But it's not going to go nowhere. You ain't got to worry about that. Pop it off. Here's your batteries. Here's your little tab. Pop your batteries out. Here you go. You got spring loaded connectors for your batteries. Positive, negative, positive, negative. Pretty nice. Tab should have been a little bit longer here though. So... Go ahead and put them in. Click five times, turn it on. Well, it's already on. So, ha! <laughs> Anyways, click five times, turn it off. See, off now. Click five times, turn it on. Now, when you pop your atomizer on here, It'll light up every time it's firing. Almost instant. Pretty nice. Got the little Invader 3 logo here. Tesla here. It is a nice box mod. It is really, it really, really does perform good. It feels nice in the hand. It's not real big. Not real bulky. 
But anyways, guys, that's the Tesla Invader 3. Let's go back to FaceTime, talk on it, vape on it, and I'll show you guys where you can get one of these. Alright guys, that was my up close, the nitty and the gritty of the Tesla Invader 3. And I gotta admit guys, my pros and my cons about this thing is, I really don't have that many cons about it. Um, as soon as you press that fire button, it is like direct. I mean, it is just, it's there. I mean, you definitely get that hit. Um, I really, I've, I've been enjoying this mod. And it's really nice, it hits good, it's just... A great all-around device and the best part about it is it is vape budget friendly you know 45 to 50 bucks for a nice zinc alloy mod that's got a magnetic battery door houses dual 18650s can go up to 240 watts what more can you want now if you do put anything lower than a 0.1 ohm it won't fire it, you just might as well hang it up it's not gonna fire for you so what else do I like about it? I really love that you can turn it on and off. That that I like that. Because you can put it in your pocket and just go on about your day without having to worry. You know, five clicks just gets it to turn right back on. And, hey, it's been vaping like a champ for me, guys. Um, I say definitely check it out. It's definitely worth the money. 45 50 bucks for a mod. I mean, you can't complain. Anything that's vape budget friendly, I mean, definitely. I'm, I'm, I'm on it. So... Yeah, guys, uh, sorry for the late review. Um, we got hit by a big snowstorm over the weekend. It's just, it was awful. So we got over like 30 inches, I believe. I'm right here in Virginia, so we were kind of in the middle of it. Um, also, I was kind of painting. So as you guys can see, you know, I got the green background or whatever. Now, I did order like a desk and shelving units and all that stuff. That way I could have some more stuff behind me instead of just a blank background here but anyways guys that is to keep you guys up to date and you guys just keep on out there stay away from the stinkies and you know like comment share come on guys let's do this so without further ado i'll see you guys next time